So this is the Garmin R10 launch monitor. It is by far one of the most popular launch monitors around. Now it gives us a ton of information like ball launch condition, ball speed, club head speed, and a whole lot more. It can even be used as an indoor simulator. Now, there are a few golf apps out there on the market to be used with the Garmin R10. This includes both the Awesome Golf and the Garmin Golf app. But the real question is, which one is the most accurate? Well, in today's video, we're gonna find out. We're gonna put the Garmin R10 up against this $50,000 simulator using both the Awesome Golf app and the Garmin Golf app just to see which one is really the best. So let's get to it. Before we do the test, there's four steps we need to do to help ensure that the Garmin R10 is the most accurate that we can make it. Now, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the Garmin R10 is up to date. One is the Garmin Golf app. The Apple update software updates automatically behind the scenes when the Garmin R10 is connected to your mobile device. Now, the second way you can do this is using the Garmin Express program through your computer. Now, all you have to do is download it from the Garmin website and then connect your Garmin R10 to the software and it'll automatically update the software inside the Garmin R10 each time you connect to it. So once the Garmin R10 has been updated, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is make sure that the unit is calibrated. Now, a lot of people don't calibrate the unit before each and time they use it, and it's really easy to do. So all you're gonna do is to go into the Garmin Golf app, go to device calibration, and then calibrate the Garmin R10. This usually takes anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute, and once calibrated, you know the Garmin R10 is internally ready to go. Once you have the Garmin R10 updated, and the unit's been calibrated, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the Garmin R10 is set up in the right location. For indoor use, you're gonna to need to have the ball at least eight feet away from the net or screen. Now, 10 to 12 feet is usually recommended, which that means that the unit would be another six to eight feet from behind the ball. Garmin recommends that it's usually around seven feet to get the best information. So the fourth step is an optional step. These are the Tylos RCT golf balls. Now, I recently did a video on the Garmin R10 and the RCT golf balls, and I found the RCT golf balls do help make the Garmin R10 just a slightly little bit more accurate and more dependable on its numbers, especially when you use them indoors. Now the downside is the RCT golf balls cost $65. So the reason why I call it an optional step is really, do you need a $65 golf ball? The answer is no. You have two other options. You can use a regular golf ball, which you would use at a golf course. Now, what I've found is when it happens is the numbers are a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes they're perfect, sometimes they're way off. Or you can use a little metal sticker that you can put on the golf ball, which does help to give the numbers a slightly little bit better number, but really it's come down to what you wanna do. So just know if you do decide to use a regular golf ball or the golf ball with a metal dot, your spin numbers might not be consistent. However, your carry distances will not be affected. At least that's what I found. So today we'll be checking out the Awesome Golf app and the Garmin Golf app. Now, in order to get the Awesome Golf app, all you have to do is go to the App Store on your iOS or Android device. Then type in the word Awesome Golf in the search box above. Once you've found it, go ahead and click download the app. It should take about maybe 30 to 45 seconds for the app to download. Once Awesome Golf is downloaded, the next thing you're going to want to do is open the Garmin Golf app and make sure the Garmin R10 is connected to your R10 device. Then open the Awesome Golf app and it'll ask you what kind of launch monitor do you want to use. Here you can pick FlightScope or Garmin. I would choose Garmin since we're using a Garmin R10. Then it's going to ask you how you want to connect and I usually do that via Bluetooth and then you should be able to find your Garmin R10 and you're ready to play. So now that we know how to set up the Garmin R10 for indoor use, we're going to do a little test to see exactly which app is more accurate indoors, either the Awesome Golf app or the Garmin Golf app. And to do so, we're going to be comparing these numbers to this $50,000 simulator that I know is a trustworthy source. So I'm going to do a practice session, I'm going to hit three clubs my seven iron, my nine iron, and my pitching wedge. And we're gonna see which golf app gives us closer numbers to this $50,000 simulator and help you figure out which app to use for using your Garmin R10 indoors. On this first shot of the seven iron, the awesome golf is showing a carry distance of 157 yards, while the simulator showed a carry distance of 158.4 yards, and the Garmin golf app showed a carry of 152. So right here, the Awesome Golf is closest to the simulator by within about two yards, while Garmin is off by about six yards. So let's go on to this next shot. On the second shot with the seven iron, Awesome uh, Golf is showing a carry distance of 160 yards, while the sim is showing a carry distance of 154.8 yards, so a difference of about 5.2 yards, while the Garmin Golf app was showing a carry distance of 153 yards. So this time the Garmin Golf app was closer to what the simulator was showing in terms of distance by only being off by 1.8 yards. 
So kind of the opposite of what happened on that first shot. But let's go to this third shot and see what happens with the seven iron. The carry distance on Awesome Golf was showing 154 yards, while the simulator is showing a carry distance of 156.3 yards. So a difference of about 2.3 yards between the Awesome Golf and the simulator. While the Garmin Golf is showing a carry distance of 150 yards, which is a difference of about 6.3 yards. So here, Awesome Golf takes it. Um, again, it's closer to the simulator's carry distance. So, you know, two out of three shots with the seven iron, the carry on the Awesome Golf app was much closer to the simulator than the Garmin Golf app. So let's move on to the nine iron now. On this first shot of the nine iron, the Awesome Golf was showing a carry distance of 136 yards, while the simulator was showing a carry distance of 129 yards. So a difference of about seven yards. While on the other hand, the Garmin Golf app was showing a carry distance of 132 yards, so a difference of about three yards. So on this first shot of the nine iron, the Garmin Golf app does take it because it is within about three yards of the simulator. On this second shot with the nine iron, the Awesome Golf app is showing a carry distance of 148 yards, while the simulator is showing a carry distance of 151 yards, so a difference of about three yards. While the Garmin Golf app showed a carry distance of 145 yards, so a difference of six yards. So for the second shot, I would say that Awesome Golf takes it because it's within about three yards of the simulator while the Garmin Golf app was off about six yards. On this third and final shot of the nine iron, uh, Awesome Golf was showing a carry distance of 144 yards, while the sim was showing a carry distance of 142.6 yards, so a difference of about 1.4 yards, while the Garmin Golf app was showing a carry distance of 140 yards, so that's about a 2.6 yard carry difference between that and the simulator. So for this third round, I would say Awesome Golf takes it again because it again, it's much closer to what the simulator is showing in terms of carry distance. And in totality, you know, two out of three again, Awesome Golf um, is more accurate than the Garmin Golf app when it came to the nine iron. On this first shot with the pitching wedge, the Awesome Golf app was showing a carry distance of 116 yards, while the simulator is showing a carry distance of 112.9 yards. So a difference of about three yards, 3.1 yards uh, between the Osmond Golf and the simulator, but the Garmin Golf app was showing a carry distance of 111 yards, which is a difference of 1.9 yards. So here the Garmin Golf app was more accurate than the Osmond Golf app because it was much closer to what the simulator was in terms of numbers. On the second shot with the pitching wedge, the Osmond Golf app was showing a carry of 122 yards, while the sim was showing a carry distance of 123.6, so a difference of about 1.6 yards while the Garmin Golf app was showing a carry distance of 117 yards. So that's about a six and a half yard difference. So for this round two, Awesome Golf takes it because it's only within less than two yards, really about one and a half yards, while the Garmin Golf app was off by about six yards. But let's go ahead and take this third and final shot. On this third shot with the pitching wedge, the Awesome Golf was showing a carry of 123 yards, while the simulator is showing a carry distance of 123.5. So, I mean, 0.5, half a yard, that is crazy accurate. While, on the other hand, the Garmin Golf app showed a carry distance of a 117. So here, again, it's off by about six and a half yards. So as you guys kind of saw today, both with the seven iron, the nine iron, and the pitching wedge, the Awesome Golf app was more accurate. You know, two out of three of the shots went to the Awesome Golf app over the Garmin Golf app. Now this doesn't really surprise me. We have some other videos um, that we've tested with a driver and the Garmin Golf app, and it just does not work at all really with the driver. Um, and the Awesome Golf app with the driver works really, really well. And that's one reason why we didn't put it in this video because we already have another video that shows that. Um, and to be honest, I use the Awesome Golf app um, and I recommend to any of you guys, if you want highly accurate numbers, go with Awesome Golf. Yeah, it costs a little bit extra, that's the downside with all these apps, but you're gonna get your money's worth. You're gonna get more accurate data, and that's really what Reason is uh, launched Marta for in the first place. So big thanks to our friends at Indoor Golf Design for letting us use this amazing simulator to do this test. To be honest, I'm just blown away by the accuracy of the Garmin R10. I mean, on average, the Garmin R10 is usually within five yards of this $50,000 simulator. I'm really impressed with this device and recommend it to anyone looking for an affordable launch monitor that can be used indoors and as a simulator. Now I got mine from our good friends at playbear.com. They're huge supporters of the show and our community. So there's a link down below so you can check it out. But if you're looking for a launch monitor that has a really cool app, that has a ton of cool in-app features like Combine, Coach Connect, and a whole lot more, then check out this video right here where we put the Rap Soto to the test. And I'll see you in the next video.